Uh, so that'll be nope. Schofield on the pole with uh, Cole sitting outside of him. Then we're going to have Brown and Bradley in row two, Dewberry and Clindworth uh, going to be row three. Then we've got uh, Piracini and Kennedy, row four. Uh, I'm going to say that's Pankey and Nine, I'm just going to call him Pancake. Alex Pancake. I like that better. Uh, he's in Texas. He don't know where I'm at. He's not going to come beat me up. Uh, Samuel Stoner, what goes better with Stoner than Pancakes? Oliver Turan, who uh, has got the sweet safety rating truck, starting <laughs> start 11th. 12th uh, be Will Jester. Todd Lampier in 13th with Jess Chambers in 14th. we got Sticky Fingers, Jason Benson starting 15th. Thomas Clausen in 16th. And uh, we will go to Carson Pittman and Isaac Voss, Andrew Long, and The Nodge, John Crutchley, rounding out the top 20, Tyler Lim and Christopher Suski. Mr., I'm not sure what the Mr. is about. Eric Dillingham with Jason Johnson, Joseph Genovese, Andrew Pickle starting damn near shotgun on the field. Brandon Martin is going to take that shotgun start, and he is going to roll with it. The pace car will not lead the most laps tonight at Bristol because once it goes off the track it's done for the night they're going to take the keys and throw them on the top of the concession stand and we're not going to have a caution for the rest of the night so it is going to be a spectacle that only Bristol can bring us all right pace cars down off turn four we got green lights we are ready to beat the heck out of each other for an hour and 15 all right, will we make a corner? Will we make a corner? That is my big question. Have we made a corner? We have, shockingly enough. Oh my God, we made a corner. We have a truck and a next gen fighting for the lead with an ARCA car right behind it. That's parody. This is probably not what NASCAR set out to do. But, hey, beggars can't be too good. I am so, I, like, I cannot state how surprised I am with, with how this is going. I was expecting there to be at least one kind of first lap chaos situation. We're running multiple cars on the same track that are all doing different things a little bit better than the other, and this is just, I cannot say how impressed I am with just the, everyone in front of me right now. Uh, yeah, I... Uh, oh, we, we got a wreck. Oh, this 88 just spun Isaac Voss in front of the 61. So this 25 car, uh, Colin Kennedy, desperately needs some, uh oh, 212 is looping around again. That's Andrew Long's second time around. Oh, that's not how you do it. Didn't give her enough go for in the who's cow when he gave him the what for. Oh, the A team just about took the ass off that truck. <laughs> that was close. Oh no, Pickle has crashed. Uh. Man, I, I really like that black and white uh, Goodrun scheme. Oh, caught the apron. And oh, that's not that bad. Oh, oh, yep, that's bad. Oh, no, we got a crash on the front stretch. The 42, Jason Benson, the 26, Tyler Lemp. Oh, yeah, there. See if we can get what come in off of. Oh, yeah, 26 ate some wall, then he ate some marshmallows. And the Pepsi car takes out Benson. See if we can get uh, get this from Benson's view. Bump. Benson's going to have to take a faster pair here, it looks looks like. So I'm sitting here watching what he does here. He's got... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, man. Oh, good. Got it. Got it. Hold your breath. Control all delete. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> no. Saved it. Oh. <laughs> and the game of bumper cars takes out Alex Pancakes. No. Oh, man, that was stressful watching that live. <laughs> I will say, so back to the, there's a race going on in between these crashes here. Uh, <laughs> Jim Schofield, uh, he's still in the lead. He's got about a two-second gap over third place, which is uh, an ARCA, or no, it's a truck, sorry. Second place, Jacob Bradley in the ARCA car. The presumed slowest car is catching Jim Schofield. Uh, then uh, Walker Cole in the 10 is the class leader for the trucks right now. And uh, so there's Jacob Bradley, who is trying to go for the overall lead underneath uh, Schofield. So the, the first three are still right there. Those are your three class leaders. Uh, the 47, the 50, and the 10. 
That's your fastest. And then the 25. The 25 is in fourth place. Yep. Uh, Colin Kennedy. The 11 right behind that as well. And Parasini as well in the 24. I mean, this is a freaking race, man. Yeah, there is... There is uh, gains to be had. I, You know, when, when you first said, oh, this is what I want to do, I honestly expected one of the three to hit it and just be out beating the dog food out of the other ones. And that has not been the case. Dillingham <laughs> is taking another ride. That was a pretty weak ride. I'd like to bring attention here to the to the lead pack. The lead pack, oh, the 47, the leader just hit the wall, but he bounced off. He's keeping the car going. We're two by two up at the front. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Double wide, three rows back. What happens when we hit lap cars with this pack? Th uh, this is going to be crazy. Yep, it, it's, it's going to be a big crash. Uh, then Genevieve's has crashed. Uh, we were watching uh, the 95 do a couple more. Pirasini pirouettes into into the walls, up, upper wall, lower wall, you know, it's all just walls. Uh, the 18 looks like a pretty wounded duck down on the bottom. Oh, he definitely is a wounded duck. Walker Cole, Walker Cole. Walker Cole is making a, a shot here at the lead. We're, we're seeing a, a really good performance here of just kind of where the differences are in these cars. That truck is so good entering the corners. We're three wide for second place. Oh, man, that was so close there. The 50 car, Jacob Bradley is now in second place. The 47 goes from first all the way back to sixth. Looks like the next gen, the problem with the next gen is going to uh, rear its head here with the tire wear. The next gen cars are going to have to really worry about their tire wear, so that might take them out of uh, uh, potential contention here for the class win, or overall win, sorry. All right, here's the trouble spot. Kyle Clendworth uh, and then Walker Cole in the 10 car. They're uh, navigating through lap traffic here. A lot of checking up here, just having to slow up. We got to watch out for a car running over another car here. It's just lack of room. I mean, Bristol isn't really, you know, it's not Talladega. Can't go 15, you know, 15 cars wide and have any sort of shot of getting through it. And Ben Dewberry did an actual excellent job of just rolling up high and giving them guys, giving them guys room to get by. And a reminder to the people at home, there's, you know, really four battles going on here. You've got all the trucks battling the trucks, because if you win the truck class, you win a trophy. If you win the ARCA class, you win a trophy. If you win the Cup class, you win a trophy. But guess what? There's one trophy that rules them all, which is going to be converted from one of those trophies that is going to be the overall winner. That is the person who is going to finish first above everybody. And that is the real question, is who was going to win the overall class? When we show up to watch the 24 hours of Daytona, you know that the DPI or now the GTP class is going to be the class where you're going to have the fastest cars win. We didn't know what was going to happen here. I would have thought it was going to be the next gens, and the trucks are currently leading. Of all things, the trucks are what's running out. <laughs> I did that. That would not have been my choice. Not not by a long shot. Yeah, and we've got tire strategy here. The 47. The 47 looks like he is pitted for tires or maybe got involved in a wreck. I don't know. There's a lot to keep Perry. Oh, Matthew Parasini gets turned by the 47. Oh, he keeps it straight. Whoa, what a save there by Matthew Parasini. The Parasini non-pirouette. We had the, the blink, and he now has got a nice new shiny oh, nose. No, no, Dodge. No, right in front of the leader, Kennedy. Oh, he's upside like down. Clenworth. Oh, here's the big one. Oh, no. And we just keep piling in. Okay, let's start with Nodge, I guess. So, Nodge is going to just tool around here, minding his own business. Oh, he gets it from uh, the 12 truck. And that's where everything's going to go. Guess who's your leader? <laughs> Nodge is upside down. He's in the fence. Oh, now everybody. Holy. And Lauren in chat says he needs some milk. I do agree. He needs some milk. <laughs> he needs a gallon of it. And that changed the whole course of the race. Oliver Turin in a oh, truck. Holy. He's leading. The, he's leading. Jason Johnson in second, Trent Brown in third, the truck contingency. 
We have four cars currently on the lead lap now, but like what happened there, we could have another big crash here. Come and take up the, uh, um, you know, come and just take the lead back. You know, these crashes are going to happen and, you know, they're going to just pop up, you know, every once in a while. Uh, a little bit less than we were expecting when we, uh, we set up this race, but I mean, this is a, this is the strategy. This is how it works. Jim Schofield, we saw him pit early for tires. He's back in a third place and he is going to be catching the leader, Oliver Turin, very rapidly as he had pitted and has fresh tires. Oh, we get the Jester had an issue getting out of pit road. Well, we get a crash. Another one. Someone I hit the wall somewhere. Here. The Ricky Bobby Wonderbread machine. Oh. Oh, oh, he takes a junior paint scheme with him. Oh, man, what else he got? That was, that was another rather large hit. Like Taylor Swift's. All of her hits are large. <laughs> That's the best thing I got. Oh, the f oh man, the 50 about sent the 95 truck. The 50. That's very, truck. very close there. Three wide there. Yeah, this works out great. Oh, Jason Johnson's going to go up and could bumble the wall a little bit. Hey, he's in third place here. Everyone that's racing him currently, they're behind him. So uh, we're seeing, uh, we now have like five cars on the lead lap here. Uh, we have, uh, let's go through the class leaders real quick. We've got Oliver Turin currently leading overall, but he's got Jim Schofield closing quickly behind in the 47 car. So Tur Turin leads the trucks. Schofield leads the next gen. Uh, currently in second place overall we have Schofield or we have Jacob Bradley in the 50 cars he's bumping the 95 car uh, or going through the corner there uh, he is the leader of the ARCA class uh, he's currently five seconds off the lead and he's pretty well been leading the ARCA the whole way oh the 95 just bumped into uh, Vincent again yeah the 65 car who's ironically on the outside of him there he uh, when uh the 50 car Jacob Bradley joined uh, for the race. He said, oh, he's the guy who's going to stomp everyone. And I thought it was going to be more of a chaos fest than this. But this is actually a, a race with some wrecks in between. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Right in front of 50. Hey, hey, you know what? No harm, no foul. That was that was actually a lot better than it could have been. The Marty Robbins special. We got a, we got a crash, crash. It's the uh, the 95 Dillingham, 25, the 47, the second place car, Jim Schofield, your leader of the next gen class is involved. Oh, they're he still is. filing in. Well, let's go wide on this. Oh, the 95 was stopped up high. He got up into the wall and comes down in front of a whole pack. Oh, 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 mama. Let's see. Let's see what we see here from. Oh! Yowzers. Boy, he amped the amp right off that. Oh, Pirasini just about came in and picked up the spare. Yeah, so uh, Schofield uh, still, uh, he actually has a 12 lap lead over the next car in class, uh, Chris Susky. So, or no, actually, sorry, I missed Benjamin Dewberry. So he's got a three-lap uh, lead over, uh, or a one-lap lead over Dewberry, who's currently pitting, who's in second place for the next-gen class. Uh, your overall leader and uh, leader of the ARCA class, Jacob Bradley, has a one-lap lead over Thomas Clausen in second place. Thomas Clausen, the Taylor Swift part. Trent Brown is currently leading the truck class uh, over Jess Chambers uh, by, looks like, about a lap as well. So we've got some distance going on here as the crashes have seemed to have thinned out a little bit, but seems like we're waiting for the next big one to happen and what that might entail for the leaders. This is a, this is a race where you are, this is a task that is interesting and out there and crazy. So there's some aspects of this that, you know, you aren't expecting. Like, I don't think most people in this race were expecting to actually get kind of these green flag runs and these, you know, multi-class lap car situations where, you know, we have a car like the next-gen car, which is ultimately the fast... Sorry, I had a burp there. We had, uh, ultimately is the fastest car, but, you know, once the tire wear sets in, just kind of understeers and you need to slow down a little bit. So uh, we're having a lot of just movement and 
just craziness going on through the field. This would be an absolute blast to participate in, but this is also extremely fun to watch. Um, as, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I cannot say how impressed I am with the field at the moment. I know we are having accidents oh. and cautions. Oh, the 65 gets turned. Yep. Ooh, is that going to be... Ooh, that was almost a big crash there. He was able to reset before the field piled in there. Uh, that's Good job by Stoner for using that. that uh... Oh, no. Oh, Trent Brown just... Oh, man, that was so close. Trent Brown, he's your current leader. Jacob Bradley is coming back to unlap himself. Uh, currently in second place. Uh, he had just pitted, so he's going to take the... Uh, be the uh, only car on the lead lap other than Trent Brown. Trent Brown almost got dumped there by Matthew Parasini. Parasini just barely got into his back bumper. Uh, Brown seems to be just kind of riding around here. He's got some right side damage. Uh, seems to be a little bit slow mid midway through the corner, so he's uh, just kind of out there surviving right now, and uh, he's got uh, he's got a decent lead over second place. Uh, second place is actually like on the same straightaway as him, so he is going to... Uh, uh, unlap himself at some point. Tyler Lem being a lap down. Uh, car distance about half or a straight away behind. So uh, check in here on the classes. Uh, like I said, Trent Brown, your truck leader. You got Jacob Bradley, who's leading the ARC class, and he just passed Trent Brown a couple laps ago. Looks like he might have a shot here to get back up to the overall position. Uh, Jim Schofield uh, really just kind of dominating this uh, this next gen class uh, in you know leading from pole and just kind of having this three lap advantage over uh, Benjamin Dewberry. So he is at the mercy of not getting involved in a big pileup. Yeah, uh, we was on train of course there and watching that. Yeah, it's everybody is just killing him from the center off. Uh, Andrew Long is showing he's uh, had, had some sort of issue here. And this is why bright green, man. Green trucks are unlucky, they say. He nosed it in, did a couple of spins. He's all right. It'll be fine. Rub a little dirt on it. Also, shout out to the 24 people watching this. This is the first live stream on this channel, and uh, 24 people is, oh, Trent got tagged. He saves it. The 50, oh, the leader. Or not, sorry, you're not your leader. The, uh... Jacob Bradley, second place, spins uh, in a reaction to what happened there to the lead car. Lead car there of Trent uh, gets involved with the 61 car. Ollie Turn and him get together, crashes there on the front straightaway, and we have another big accident that happened on the front stretch. Uh, well, that's the back stretch, but they do look exactly alike. Uh, yeah, there's there's a lot of carnage there. Let's see if we can get a little tighter shot here of the beginnings of this. Oh, pickle hooked Piercini. Oh, actually, there may have been two completely different wrecks here. Nope. Yep, there was. Okay. So while we were watching this one live that we're now watching the replay of, uh, what I just showed you the replay of was happening. Oh, man. 25. Man, that was the mother of all saves, Colin. We're going to back up and we're going to ride on board with that because that was that was an epic save. Put some respect on my man's name. Look at that. Watch it. Whoop. Watch out. Pardon me. Excuse me. I mean, yeah. I don't. Yeah, he touched the wall. You, you show me you can do better. That was a that was a hell of a job. And it's leading. Yeah, just a couple couple bumps, couple scratches, still got a hood. We got a tire screeching going on. Need to figure out where that is. Uh, Todd Lampier. The uh, Wonder Bread machine again. Thunk. Oh, yeah, boy, that was a good one. Just uh, turned it and smushed the face of it. Clyde. Oh, no. Or Kyle. Other Kyle. Kyle Clindworth, the number 11 Gearworks. Come up. Oh, that looked kind of net, Cody. Man, 212 there just like punched him. They were yeah, just side by side. The, that looked little that Cody to start that. Yeah, that's the unfortunate thing with uh, kind of putting multiple cars on track like this is you get a an incidence of net code, especially at a uh, tracks with kind of that high lateral movement. Jacob Bradley is still your leader. 
and he is going to cross the line to finish lap 171 at almost 50 minutes into the race. And the funny thing is that 50 car looks like it should have a meatball. It is beat. <laughs> it's still out there leading the race. And uh, Pickles' car didn't really look any worse, in my opinion, but apparently hit you know something that was a little more important. I'm, I'm fat, Kyle. You gotta, you gotta believe this. You, you don't ever, never believe a skinny chef. That's kind of like saying you should believe what fat people eat because we didn't get fat by not eating. All he dies. Oh, that's another. Oh, Parasini is gonna get involved. The 50 of Jacob Bradley is gonna sneak by on the high side. There's so much death and destruction here all the time. Samuel Stoner, let's see if we can get the angle on this one. Kind of getting a usual group here. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Now there's Pirasini down at the bottom of the screen. He got her straightened out, really. So, I mean, less than ideal, but. Crash on the front stretch. 26, Tyler Lem. Oh, man. <laughs> They're still wrecking, Kyle. Oh, oh, oh. Well, Pirasini hooks the 18. They got the 212, wanted to make sure he got in that one, too. Oh, God, who's that wrecking into one? Okay, well. Dewberry comes around. Oh, mommy. <laughs> Dewberry, speaking of IHOP. Oh, man. Hopper. Bradley almost just got loose and smacked the wall there. Just kind of got that loose exit where you're off the throttle and just kind of chasing it up the hill, and he just barely kept it out of the wall. And he is about six laps away from crossing 200 laps done. See, this is what happens when you do a Bristol race and you don't have cautions. You get some laps done. This this is true. Short laps, no cautions. Uh, well, I'm using fast cars. When we did this in the little uh, 34 Legends, I think that oh Jason Johnson bounced her off the wall and tried to tried to scare Bradley and Bradley's having none of it. Uh, but I think we were running. Oh, 24s. the 21 just piles straight into the back of the 75 there. Alex Pankey. Uh, Alex Pankey pancakes the 75. Oh no no. Oh, we're, we're still wrecking. Oh, the 18 got that one. Oh, boy. If nothing else, we are good at wadding some cars up. Yep, 7, caught Ollie, caught the 12, caught the 18, 75 up front there. Uh, I don't even know who that was. It came in last. Was that Lem? That may have been Lem. No, that wasn't. He's back up in here. You know, catch Ollie a little bit. So who comes in and hits him? Oh, it was the 50. Oh, Bradley came in and caught a piece of that. He hit, uh, man, that thing is beat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this he is, hit Ollie. Yeah, he's uh, he's on pit road now. We might have a, um, a new, we do have a new leader, I think. Yep, or we're going to have ones quickly. And out he comes. Uh, Clawson is rapidly gaining time and is right there. See, this is the. See, this is where a wreck happens, and you kind of get your progress stalled. We were talking about how he just hit 194, and he's about to hit 1 uh, 200 here. He's gonna cross the line here and just start uh, or finish lap 200, as there's a crash on the front stretch. The 88. And in other news, water is wet. What do you do this time? Well, them two, the 88 and 61, have just been the bane of each other's existence tonight. And we got another one there. We got the 58. 510. Ooh, that was Trent almost Brown. an unsafe join. Trent Brown got another one. Boy, and, and you go from hero to zero real quick. Seven's out here tooling around, leading. Now Pirasini's just murdering him. Yikes. And he jumps to the pits, and I don't know that I necessarily disagree with that move because. Geek. Jacob Bradley threw uh, the. The turmoil has held on to the lead. The uh, cracks into lap 203. Jacob Bradley actually putting another lap uh, between him and the second place car in class. So 
uh, quick check in on the classes. Jacob Bradley now is uh, two whole laps ahead of our, or it should be two whole laps. Let's wait for him to cross by the start finish line here for me. Or it might still be one lap. You might have just lapped him uh, once again uh, for class. Let's wait for him to cross the start finish line. Yep, Bradley. Nope, he is still one lap ahead of Clawson, who is uh, second place in class for him. Uh, Show Field is currently. Uh, 10 laps uh, over second place in uh, the next gen class. So uh, unless Showfield has some crazy bad luck here, multiple crashes, uh, he might be out of the race. Uh, Thomas Clausen, uh, he is your second place uh, runner, third place overall uh, for ARCA. And Kyle Clenworth is your truck leader and he is just coming off pit road. And Jess Chambers is right behind him. And Jess Chambers looks like it's gonna catch and actually pass Kyle Clenworth. Uh, but Clenworth is going to have uh, the fresh tires, so Jess Chambers is now your leader for trucks. We're at 218 as the 50 car crosses the line. So, yeah. Uh, we have another unfortunate uh, disconnect here. Uh, Trent Brown, uh, who is the, who was at some point the leader of the truck class, has left the race. Yep, the seven. We have the car upside down. Andrew Pickle. Oh, no, no, it's Sam Stoner. Oh, he's the last one in this then. Oh, that was a crash. Oh, the 12 got, oh, 65's over. 65 eating it. Man. Damn, that was, that, that there was a Ricky Bobby wreck. Oh, no, oh, the 50 car. Jacob Bradley just got spun. Da -da. Car. Well, there we are back to having a beat to hell looking car. It was so pretty for a while too. He's still got a lap on the field there, but that's going to take a huge toll on his tires there. Jim Schofield, second place. Uh, Matthew Parasini is the closest ARCA car, so uh, Jacob Bradley's still the leader, um, dominant leader of the ARCA class at the moment, but overall is his concern. Uh, he has got about seven minutes left. Uh, Jim Schofield is, uh, you know, in front of him as I hear more crashing. I... I've got to give Laura credit. She has got some sparkly hearts here. Number 18 on the track, number one in my heart, baby. If nothing else, he's winning where it counts. Uh, that was Piercini. We hopefully, hopefully you guys are about to see a Piercini pirouette. Oh, no. He got sent like a drunk prom date. Oh my God. He was like, get your hands off me and just full send. Wow. Yep, that's that's less than ideal. Thank God. Man, we got tempers. We got everything going on in this race. We got some people that are frustrated oh, with no. others, but. Yeah, 21 man, this just is got dumped. Oh, pickle, no. Oh, Pickle's upside down. Pickle has gone turtle mode. Somebody flip him over. Oh God, speaking of flipping over, we got we got baby news. Congratulations on the 18. <laughs> so I believe how this is going to work is uh, once we have a, a, a once we have less than I believe it's going to be about 15 seconds remaining. Is oh that was almost a major crash there. Um, we're going to see the 50 car. We're gonna see the 50 car uh, come across the line with maybe about 12 or so seconds left and then get the white flag or maybe even get a uh, um, a warning with uh, two to go maybe. So we're gonna see in about four minutes that happen. We see the 50 car getting passed by the 10 car, but Schofield uh, currently looks like he's got nothing for Jacob Bradley, but we are always waiting for that next accident. We can have an accident coming to the white flag and the 50 can go from first to second here for overall. What's well, uh, black and white and three all over? Oh, the 58 just blinked out of nowhere. So the 65 just flat sit. Oh, oh, good. All of them. The three into the 61 into the 88. That, that's, oh, man. <laughs> Susky got it because why wouldn't he? The 212 green truck. Man, I hope we ain't paying extra for them guys being in a wreck or we probably just went broke. Uh, he's got he's second uh, in class. He's second in Arca, so he is battling here to be one last lap behind Jacob Bradley with about a minute and thirty seconds remaining in the race. I wouldn't call him second class, but I mean, 
second in class. Oh, well, okay, that's fair. <laughs> Jim Schofield has a extending lead of about 12 laps over the uh, the car behind Jess Chambers uh, is now your leader. Actually, we might have a battle here for uh, for the trucks. Actually, not really. Kyle Clenworth is about uh, two thirds of a lap behind Jess Chambers. So Jess Chambers is leading your uh, your truck class here uh, with about. 50 seconds left, so it looks like we're going to get about three or four laps remaining as the 12 car gets spun by the 18 of Joseph Genovese. The 58 car has to slow down. This is, might affect the battle for the lead in the truck class. The 58 car has to slow up. Kyle Clenworth is now a straightaway behind the uh, the 58 car, so we might have a if there's a crash or something that one of these cars has to slow up for, this might lead to a situation to where um, we might have a lead change uh, for uh, the... Oh, man, the 58 car breaks out there, but... Um, no, Clenworth has a shot here at, uh, at gaining the uh, the overall win here for, for trucks. I think I'm having an issue with my timing and scoring, so oh. I'm going to keep it up in the flag stand here to tell you when the white flag happens. Now, now Lamp here, Jason Johnson, we're, we're still wrecking. Oh, oh, well, well now. Well, that was special. Oh, Parasini. Getting that last lap push here, trying to get everything in. Oh, oh, the 18's going to get roughed up by the truck. Hook. Ay, Yahtzee. Hey, that was slow-mo Parasini Pirouetti. We finally got to see one. Back alive. Lap 273 in the books. And the 47. White flag. White flag is in the air for the 50 car. 47 was. I mean, he looks like he's about out of tires. And the 50 is right on his tail. So 47 is second place. The 50 is the overall leader right behind him. And yeah, 47 is up on the wall. So he's, there is the checkered for the 50. There is your overall winner. And it looks like everyone else has. Uh except for the uh, the 47 of Jim Schofield um, is cross the line. It looks like the 47 of Jim Schofield is going to cross the line as well, and he's going to claim the class victory. So your winners, your overall, is going to be Jacob Bradley in the ARCA car. Uh, Jim Schofield is going to be the winner of the next-gen class. Jess Chambers is going to be your winner for the truck class. <laughs> Schofield just knocking people out of the way. He's had he's had enough of your tomfoolery. To the winner go the donuts.